Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel where today we are going to be accepting every single trade thrown our way. Yet again, no matter how good or bad, it will be accepted. And we're going to be doing it with the newest team in the NHL, the most recent expansion, the Seattle Kraken. And I am doing this with the 33 team expansion set up because then we have the offseason. I feel like a lot of trades happen then, so we want to try and maximize it. So technically... We will be the second youngest team, but whatever. Add a contract year. GM firing off. Uh, I just turn owner mode off. And yeah, I think it's pretty standard at this point to have it set up like that. I'm going to leave this on because it works to our benefit. <laughs> so yeah, I'm using that when I can, I suppose. Quick settings. We're going to turn injuries off. Don't want those to happen. It makes a lot more sense, in my opinion, to be under quick settings instead of rules. But oh well. Start the career, keep the salary cap on, let's see how many trades we get Has the Seattle Kraken. We're apparently moving up to pick number two from four, okay, okay, I see you, that's pretty good. Sim the expansion draft, uh, continue simming, and I do not want to do draft interviews. We're going to skip, and we are going to start the entry draft. So we... What? What the heck? Alright, I, I see how it is. Whatever. Sim to pick five. Yeah, we're probably not going to get anybody who's NHL ready. We're not even going to get a medium elite, huh? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is absolutely offensive. I get a low elite. Maybe a low elite. Whatever. I'll take the medium top six player. I suppose. Let's go over here. Boom. Boom. Sort by that. Yeah. Okay. All right, Connor. You better have an ability or two at least. Well, he only has one. This guy only has one ability. Oh, my word. Okay, whatever. Simming the entire draft. Just, we're going to forget that this draft ever happened, okay? What draft? Exactly. Sim to the resign phase where we should be A-OK -okay because of the fact we added the extra year. Yep. Looks like we are good here. Cool. And what if we go to goaltenders? Yeah, we're all set. Cool. What about free agents? Think there's going to be any free agents there? Probably not. But maybe. Possibly. I didn't think there would be last time and there was, but that was also alumni. A little bit different. Here we go. Do we have anybody worth picking up? Not really. <laughs> we have $12 million of cap though, so maybe just in case. Grab you, Dominic. Boom. There you go. And maybe Peary as well. Okay. Uh, no, only two years, but I will give you a little bit more than you're asking. Okay. Goaltenders by any odd chance? Mm. Maybe. I think Rab Neuvert's just for fun. Okay. There we go. 1.3. Decent. Okay. Let's find out how many trades we get, shall we? Our trade block is pretty stacked, which is nice. Our surplus and wants are quite open. But, you know, it is restricted to 17 to 23 with certain potentials. So I am going to change that to make it even more generic. Oh my word, the menus in this game are <laughs> incredibly slow. Impressively slow, actually. Defense and goaltenders. Where are you? Boom. There we have it, okay? So we're willing to take pretty much any player. Yeah. And our surplus plus draft picks. I will make that very generic as well. Forward. There you go. And... Oh, wait. No, what? Okay, yeah. That's what I want. Not this one. So let's get rid of that one and see if... Nice. Okay. We're all set then. Why does it do that, man? These menus are brutal. Okay, I'm going to do goalie because I know we don't have that one. This one is a defense. Okay, so we need forward there. Yeah, nice. Splendid. That took longer than it should have. Anyway, on and future picks on. We should be getting some trades. I would like to think. Right off the bat, Flurry and Clifford for Benino and a third. Sure, there you go. Accept that trade. More and a third for... Winterton, this is a pretty cool name, and a third, okay, wow, this is crazy, Lind, and a second, going for Gallagher, Edmondson, and a seventh, okay, and we also get Neuverth, we got Peary, 
And you decide to go with another team. What a clown. That is brutal. That's poor from you. Uh, flurry for Hollander. And a second. Boom. We get two second picks. One from the Jets and one from the Capitals for next year. For Polacek and a second. Wow. Oh my word. Okay, I'm not even going to announce these anymore. I'm just going to keep accepting them at this point. Everly, no! Oh, man. There goes our chance of being any good. Morgan Geeky is also leaving us. Getting a lot of draft picks here, okay? You literally just traded us. Now we're giving up Grubauer? Oh my word, man. Getting Ryan Ellis, though. This We're going to be a whole new team. We're not even going to be recognizable out there. Gustafson. Okay, sure. Van Riemsdyk coming our way for Susie. Some draft picks involved as well. Oh yeah, that's the guy! That's our boy right there. The guy that just won the Conn Smythe and the alumni one, so... Or not Conn Smythe. <laughs> Imagine that. No, the Calder. Yeah, but we're losing Rask and Alexiak, which is lame. Uh, we're getting Suzuki in exchange for Larson. No! Oh, dude, I was so used to... Oh, I accidentally declined it. Dang it. That's rough. Okay, well, hopefully we... <laughs> get that one back but I mean this is it's like every single day we're getting a trade yeah there you go we're not even gonna have a team left there you go we got one player okay Osterly some draft picks involved Corrali there you go and chase on there you go okay yeah sorry guys I guess I kind of clickbaited you then because technically we didn't accept all trades but it was an honest mistake so yeah, it is what it is. It happens. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to Dunn. And our best player is Ryan Ellis. Incredible stuff. What a scene. Well, here's our team. Pretty interesting, to say the least. Okay. That is your 20... I guess, would this be the 2022 Seattle Kraken? 2021-22? Uh, defense. There you go. And in net, who do we even have in net? Okay, we got Dreger and Neuwirth. Good thing I signed him. Cool. Yeah, hopefully we get some more trades that uh, work out in our favor. But I feel like probably not. And because, of course, our trading block has been modified. So I don't know who's doing this, but you're fired. You are canned. Future picks back to on. And let's go to add item. We want any forward. We want any defenseman, boom, and any goaltender that you're willing to give up. There you have it. Cool. We are set once again. And it looks like we're still fine here for the most part. But I will change these. I can't be bothered to change um, these fully because it just, you know, <laughs> these menus make me agitated shall we say so based on that quick preview of our roster we're probably gonna stink but that's okay doesn't matter i guess we'll go up to the uh trade deadline here find out who's on the block and yeah if we have any team left at all <laughs> oh my word there you go uh-huh and best roster okay yeah we are looking real rough now that we just <laughs> we just lost two more Pretty decent players, which we weren't good before. So, and now we're losing. <laughs> oh, my days. Best roster. I'm very curious to see if we're pretty much going to be like an AHL team by the end of this. We're just getting gouged for all of our players. We got another trade here from the Washington Capitals. Except, and we need to once again... Have the GM put the lines together. How are we not doing horrendous right now? Makes zero sense. Another trade from the Capitals. They seem to like trading with us. Okay. Except, I guess we're both Washington, so, you know. And assistant GM. I know it's not the same, but Washington, nonetheless, is the name. We're taking on Kevin Hayes and we're losing Edmondson. Except, okay, and best roster. Well then, another one. Man, and we're just getting draft picks. I don't want your draft picks. Get them out of here. How? We're losing two seconds, and we're getting back a second and a third, and we're giving up a player. I mean, it must be how the teams are performing, but holy crap. All right, if you say so. We finally 
slowed down with the trades. It's been a while since we got one, and it's kind of looking like we are not going to get another one heading into the deadline. So, without further ado, let's jump in. I guess we're a seller. I don't know, man. And enter the deadline, find out who is on the block here. We got Varlamov, can maybe try to go after him. Klingberg is a part of the Bristol Blades. We have Ryan Ellis on the block. I don't know why on earth we have that, but sure, why not? Timothy Jimothy is available. It's actually a lot of good players here. Interesting. Should we try for Klingberg? Probably not. I think we should just stick it out with the team we have. Yeah. Yeah, we've had enough trades. You know what? Let's just, for curiosity's sake, anything we could get for Varlamov. Oh! Yo, we're doing it. Accept that. Yeah. Cool. We just got a better goalie. What about you? Any trades we can find for you? Schwartz and two seconds. Uh, I don't want to give up forwards. We need forwards pretty pretty bad right now. Timothy Jimothy? No trades found. Voracek? No trades found. That's pretty lame. That is pretty lame. What about Connor Brown? It's not even letting me. Why not? Oh, I feel like he got traded. That's why. Hmm. <laughs> Probably. Okay. Yanni Gord. Try to get him back on the team. For done. No, I'm not doing that. If it was draft pick, sure. But it's not. Phil? For Tanev. Ooh. No, I'm not going to do it. No, sir. Okay. Well, we got a goalie. I guess that's all you can really ask for. <laughs> not really. We could have asked for a lot more. But anyway... Let's get out of here and finish the season. Yeah, playoffs are practically impossible at this point for us, but that's okay. You know, we just came here to find out what kind of trades we would get and accept them all, except for one. It's like a little disclaimer, you know, at the end of the commercial when they do that, like, speed talking stuff, like an auctioneer. The season is complete. We got 31 wins on the year. I mean, I don't know what else I expected with all those trades. Oh, we actually finished better than the Blades. Ha <laughs> ha. Love to see it. Okay. Okay. Let's check out the entire league here. So the Golden Knights win the President's Trophy. Is it top 16? It is. Okay. Good stuff. And this is the rest of the league. Oh, wow. We actually didn't do that bad, really. Holy. Some teams did miserable. Well, then. Let's look at individual player stats. Gallagher got 60. So did Schwartz. Hayes with 52. Wenberg, 47. Go through the list here. And go to our goaltenders. We got Dredger with a 904. Okay, both of our goalies just didn't do great. It's a nice way to put it. Yeah, there you go. The poor lads probably got left out to dry. Entire league. We got Robin Leonard with 49 wins. Yeah, they won the President's Trophy. He also had a 922 and a 229. So he played phenomenal this year. What about defensemen? We got Carlson with 81. One shy of point a game. Hedman. 64, Carlson, 63, same with Hughes, Yossi, 62, Theodore, all right, there you go, and if we go to forwards, we have Matthews with 110, 107 for Marner, 99 for Kane, 96 for Ovi, probably a Rocket Richard for Matthews there, yeah, it looks like it with 54, okay, there we have it, let's simulate the playoffs, Colorado wins the Stanley Cup, possible foreshadowing for this year, maybe, could be, Check out the awards now. Colorado obviously won the Stanley Cup. The Golden Knights with the Presidents, as we saw. Tampa Bay made it to the final. So it was a Colorado-Tampa final. Hmm. Okay. Individual awards. Matthews with the Art Ross and the Hart. Carlson with the Norris. Marner with the Lady Bing. Trevor gets the Calder. Darcy Kemper with the Conn Smythe. Leonard with the Vesna and the Jennings. Myers gets the Bill Masterton. Swift. With the Jack Adams, Kopitar with the Selkie, Matthews with the Lindsay, and the Rocket Richard. So he kind of cleaned up this year. Here is the playoff tree, how it all went down. So Tampa beat the Toronto Maple Leafs in the conference finals, taking seven games. And oh, look at that. Colorado and Edmonton were the two teams in the West Finals. So that is intriguing, to say the least. The Rangers are up there, but they got bested by the Capitals in the first round. Okay, well, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what team you want to see next or, you know, what stipulation you want to see for this, and I'll see you soon.